Hello, hello, hello kids. I know that for some of you who are applying this cycle, you have about a week to go until your Common App essay is due. I want to make your life a little bit easier by giving back some of the great tips that I was given when I was applying. I'm really excited to get right into this and give you guys some tips and tricks. So hopefully you find this really useful. So before we start stressing out about what to even write, we have to understand why are they making us write this random essay? As a British student, I know that the university essays I'm really used to writing were super catered towards bragging about all of my grades and my achievements. Now, the American Common App essay is completely different. They already know your grades, they already have your references, and they already know what kind of extracurriculars you do. So what this means is that the Common App essay is really your specific place to show that piece of information you haven't shown them anywhere else get into the memory box and kind of trap yourself in there make sure that they don't forget who you are i don't want to break it to you guys this way but no one cares if you have straight a's so tell us about something that makes you special and even if you don't have perfect grades, this is your place to really shine and tell them about something that you're really passionate about. At the end of the day, just pick something that makes you you, and we're gonna get to this later. Now we have to look at the actual essay prompt. There are actually seven essay prompts this year. The biggest takeaway here is that whatever prompt you pick doesn't really matter. They're all asking questions about simply what makes you you, which I'm probably gonna say like a million times during this video. Another great thing is that your answer to one question can pretty much be recycled for another question. You just have to find a little bit of a different angle into each one. You could probably toy around with the same idea for different questions and see which one you like better. Let's talk about tackling the beast, you know, really bringing it in, getting those juices like flowing nicely. The first thing I think you should do is figure out your I statement. So your I statement is basically going to be the central thesis in your essay. It's the thing that you want your reader to take away from this essay. You should be able to summarize whatever takeaway that is into a simple I statement. For example, I am determined, I am resilient, I am empathetic, I am passionate. And this should be strongly highlighted at the beginning and end and throughout in terms of some sort of story that demonstrates growth towards or the development of or how you've always shown this I statement. We're going to figure out how to weave that I statement into an essay by using some sort of story. Shine that I statement light on your life and figure out if there are any stories that help to prove this point. Now, if you came up with an I statement and you have no stories in your life to show that you are that I statement, the likelihood is that I statement might not be true or could be a goal of yours. For example, if your loss is about being compassionate, then maybe you could write about the times that you volunteered at a homeless shelter every weekend. You don't need to have a fancy story. Not everyone has cured cancer. Not everyone has flown to the moon or won a Nobel Peace Prize before they even got to college. You can have something really mundane. I have got a video where I read the essays that got me into Harvard, so you guys can have a look at that if you want. Mine was about convincing my parents to get me a cat, and I think that that's a really good example of how you can take a really simple story and make it something much more valuable. At the end of the day, the most important thing about this story aspect is to find a story that you're excited to tell. So now that we have our I statement and our narrative arc, we're gonna put these things together and figure out how we can really plot the story out. I'm breaking this down into a number of steps that are really easy to remember. So let's go one by one. My first step would be to set up the story. What was my goal? What were the challenges that were facing me? Now, again, like I said, all of these different essays are very similar to each other, so you can tweak all of these stages in different ways that kind of fit that specific essay. So stage number two is grind. How did you achieve this goal? What did you do to make this thing happen? So step number three is achievement. What did achievement look like when you achieved this goal? And how did it feel to achieve that? Step number four would be reflection. What did you learn through this process of achieving this goal? What were some key takeaways that you could specifically outline? Maybe things that you learned about yourself or about the situation or about the world around you. Step number five is to now bring it back. So take that story that you just told, bring the lesson that you learned into something new something that's happened more recently in your life. And step number six is to hammer it in. The reason why I suggest bringing in like a second example of this same I statement 
right at the end is to show how you've grown on top of already having grown in the first story and how you take lessons that you learn in your life and you keep applying them. Therefore, you're reinforcing this I statement and the central thesis and showing how you're gonna carry it forward. Leave the reader thinking, wow, I really, I really got that now. Let's actually get to writing something together, so. Okay guys, so I'm back here again with my laptop and we are gonna get right into writing kind of like an outline for an essay or the bare bones of the essay. Let's start off with the first prompt. So this is what I have here. So I know that the first thing I talked about was setup. What was my goal and what were the challenges? So I'm gonna make up a little story here. My I statement is gonna be that I am determined, I am resilient, something like that. So setup, I could say something like I had always dreamed about setting foot on this monstrosity, monstrosity of steel, right? As the sharp screaming of the riders shook the air, I plugged my ears in wonder. So this is an interesting hook here. So this is kind of setting up the essay. The reader is thinking, what the hell are they talking about? And in this sense, I'm talking about a roller coaster. Here I could really simply say something like, my turn next, I thought to myself. And then really trying to put yourself in here as a human, you could say something like, bracing myself and letting go of my mother's hand. I marched over to the roller coaster. So here we're actually labeling this. Like, what is it that we're up against? Resisting the urge to turn back. Instead, I kept my eyes trained on the entrance cube. I think that sounds pretty good. This is a really interesting and compelling introduction. We have a lot of things going on here. We've set up the challenge. We've set up this balance of fear and wonder. And we said that we want to do this too. We're going to do it. And now it's grind and achievement. So grind is what are we actually going to do? And we're going to roll that into the achievement of actually doing it. And that's the important part. How did I feel after I did this roller coaster thing? So with that, let's try and write here. So grind slash achievement is going to be rolled into one. Here we could say something like, at once we were off jolting instantaneously to what felt like a million miles per hour. I tried to stifle the screams that were erupting, sounds quite nice there, from my mouth. And then again, making yourself part of this joint experience, I could hear my fellow, oops, I could hear my fellow writers screaming around me. We were one. I'm just writing stuff, as you can tell, like I'm just kind of going for it right now. But this is interesting because it shows that this experience makes you feel part of a whole, which could be something that you'd want to open up. Here, you want to also include your reflection. How did this make you feel? What did it make you do? Really dig deep into how this experience affected you. I'm just going to do a quick one here, but you can definitely go into it in more detail. So I could say something here, like I learned that there was nothing I couldn't achieve right, without putting it into perspective and believing in myself. Now this is, this is definitely a little bit simplistic. Definitely spend more time on this. I'm just doing this off the fly right now, but try and develop that a little bit more and make it more specific to you and make it sound a little bit more eloquent than what I just did. Now that we've set it up, we've done the grind, we've done the achievement and the reflection, we're going to bring it back to now and how can we put this experience in the here and now. Let's come up with some sort of situation. Okay, I think I have something. Stick with me here. So a few summers later, I was faced with a strangely similar situation or even like challenge, whatever you want to call it. Maybe challenge would be better here. So you could even use this for the essay that's about challenges. I'd finally landed the internship of my dreams. However, you could say I was deathly afraid of making mistakes and embarrassing myself since I was a first generation student who had no experience in this new shiny world. You could maybe in that same paragraph expand a little bit on what your internship is and <coughs> <coughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Jesus Christ, okay. Um, okay, so let's get back to that. I would say maybe expand on what the internship is and why it was scary. We could say something to bring it back 
to the story that we tell to show that this lesson of determination and resilience has carried through even to this summer as I neared the spotless gloss doors of the entrance I found a smile tugging at the corners of my mouth right that sounds kind of nice a burst of adrenaline rushed through my veins and I felt the same exhilaration I had felt so many moons ago on the boardwalk. I opened the door as my supervisor shook my hand and handed me a stack of paperwork to be filled in. In just a week, so now we want to give the final spin to this story. Like, where does this determination and resilience like, pay off? In just a week, I was able to complete more coverage than any other intern. And my boss had even taken a liking to me and offered to write me a reference. Here, final time hammer it in so now we want to end on this i do resilience determination bam 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 this is who i am kind of situation it clicked once again that i was always going to be capable of you know rising to the challenge and moreover exceeding the limits i had established for myself we could even say something like you know i am my own hero and the sky is the limit. So I would probably not end with the law sentence because it is kind of cheesy, but something along those lines, you want to have a strong ending. So as you can see with this document, that really didn't take a long time at all. You can see how each of these little steps really gets your brain going and helps you to figure out what specific parts of your essay you want to include and how you can draw from your own life experiences for them. Okay, so hopefully that demonstration was helpful. The last thing I want to talk to you is about voice. First of all, what is voice? Voice means being able to hear you throughout your essay, that it sounds consistent with the rest of your application and that you sound like a fun human. You don't just sound like a robot or someone who's been chained to the desk for hours to type this essay out. Here are a couple of ways that you can make sure that you've maintained a consistent voice throughout your essay. Tip number one, please, please, please proofread your essay. I know, trust me guys, I know. I have submitted so many essays before college, in college, even after college without proofreading. Sometimes you can get away with it, but do you really want to risk your college admissions on a typo? Proofread, make sure that everything's grammatically correct, that there are no typos. If you're worried about something, get someone else to read it to double check. Tip number two is to write multiple versions of your essay to see if there's a different version that might help your voice shine a little bit better. If you remember how we said there are all these different prompts, different prompts can help highlight different things. So if there's a prompt that helps highlight a part of your story that makes it sound a little bit more like you, maybe switch out your essay into that prompt. Tip number three is to read your essay out loud. Maybe record yourself reading your essay and play it back to yourself. If you sound super kind of strange and weird and not yourself, it probably means you should rewrite some parts of it. Read each sentence that you've already written out loud and say it in a way that you would say it so that it does sound like you. And tip number four, which is my biggest tip, is to always make sure that you give your essay to people around you who know you really well. Friends, family members, teachers even. If they tell you that you don't at all sound like yourself or it sounds really strange, then maybe you should tweak it a little bit to make it sound more like you. And finally, you can submit, <coughs> celebrate all of your hard work. And once you've submitted, just try to internalize the fact that there's literally nothing you can do at this point, but wait, at the end of the day, you did something amazing. Like even just showing up and applying is a huge step. You should be really proud of yourself. And with that, I hope that this video was really helpful. I would love to help. If there are any questions, please leave them down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! -bye.